and we're back, you guys, to more, more Metal Gear Solid 4. We're still following this guy. And, uh, more searchlight, as we did before. Gotta take it out. not as easy as it looks to hit that helicopter. You gotta tr try and anticipate where it's gonna move. Oh, great. Perfect time to reload. There we go. Now, there are a couple of enemies in this area, but since it's so wide, um, you have so much place to, uh, to see them coming. No, 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 no. Let's go. There he is. Whoop. Here comes the the support team. <laughs> no, since they're going that way. What the? Oh, this guy, not not this guy. <laughs> guys coming this way. Well, sort of turn around. And... Let me, uh... Put a silencer on this thing. Yeah, they run out pretty fast, even if you get five. They keep deteriorating so quickly. Not again. Snake, find some way to free him. Otacon, shut up. <laughs> this is HQ. Oh, great. <laughs> Understood. The state of alert has been lifted. Resume positions. And now this guy. That would be all of them, I think. So I only see small dots, and that's birds. Now he should be choosing a path. I think it's to the left that he'll be that he'll be going. I think we're getting a little closer now to what I like to call the second section, where things are just a little bit more complicated. And you'll see why. Whoop! Ah! Gotta move, gotta move! Yeah, he has a tendency to walk where I'm at for some reason. It's like he knows that I'm following him. <laughs> it's like, oh, this guy thinks I'm a fool. I can see him crawling all over the place. Yeah, I sort of remember the uh, the path he takes more or less, but not completely. And it's not like I've ever really, um, you know, just for curiosity, explore this place and see, you know, see what's around, see what's hidden around here, because I'm pretty sure that if you do some exploring, you might find, like, um, special items or weapons or things like that. But, you know, since I'm doing an LP, I don't want to, like, waste a lot of time um, trying to find absolutely everything. So, hopefully I'll get the stuff that I need and get to the ending. going. Took this little little path over here. This back alley. Now here's the second section.
There's something fishy about that PMC trooper. Do you hear whistling? That's the whole point of it, that he somehow knocked down someone uh, out around the corner and took his uniform. Now this like is the reason why controls. Watch out for them, Snake. The reason why now is a little more complicated is that he's not gonna um, raise any alert on himself. But now I have to take care of myself. But now the areas are even hev more heavily guarded than before. So even if he's not gonna be discovered. I still need to take care of these guards because they're on the way and there's no way I can get past that area without being noticed. So what I do is that I blow these two. That's what she said. And <laughs> So he's like wondering like what the hell? Instead of going away, he has to come back and search them. So you wait here, this car shows up, and now I take care of this guy, that take care, take, takes care of the car, so it, it kind of goes away and it takes a really long time to come back, or it doesn't even come back at all, but it's, you just got to take care of the guy in the car. And now, I'm going to try and move to where he is. Hopefully, these guys won't spot me, and if they do, um, I'll just shoot them. Huh? You okay? What's happening? Hey! Uh, it's uh, the enemy! Uh, There's one guy over there. Uh, uh, There's a guy behind me, but he's going away. No need to kill him. So here's the guy. Gone past this area. Yeah, the first time you do this, you don't know what to do. And uh it's like a like really, really bad. Now these guys are gonna be moving away. Now we're really close to where we need to go. That's why I said the second session is a little bit harder the first time you're around. But, um... You know, if you know what you're doing, you get through it really quickly. Because we're close to that area that we need to go. You just gotta get there without being spotted. So I'm gonna try and make guards fall asleep now. If uh, if any of them encounters uh, sees me or something, so I don't want to like do uh, alert them too much. That's another separate car or the respawn of the car before. Only that it takes a while. I guess they've seen the bodies now, <laughs> but that'll distract them. It'll keep them on the other side. It's crossing the street. Oh, there's a music track over there. Whoa. Sleep, friend. Yeah, if you want to grab that, uh, go ahead. There's an achievement or a trophy for it. If you um, get all the iPod um, tracks, oh, that's a ration. Oh, I'm totally gonna need this. Totally gonna need this. Yeah, I think when I play this game again, you know, off screen and by myself trying to get all the uh, trophies. I'm gonna definitely explore this whole place before I start following one of these guys. This just seems like the best thing to do, like there might be so many good things around. But while following him is almost impossible to explore anything. So 
So there's going to be a car passing by here now and then, and need to be careful not to get run over. Alright. Yeah, we're really close to where we need to go. And then there's going to be a lot of cutscenes. You have no idea. It's gonna be cutscenes, a little bit of gameplay, then a lot of cutscenes, and a little bit of gameplay. And then there's one section that it's gonna be pure cutscenes for like 20 to 30 minutes. So, on the next parts, I'll just be like, uh, you know, I'll be I'll be present in the cutscene. You know, I'm not, I'm gonna comment when they're not talking or whatever, but. I'm mostly not going to be talking since, uh, you know, what, what's there to say in cutscenes. Go to sleep. Oh crap, I gotta get out of the street. He's already there where we need to go. Oh no, I hope he doesn't run me over. Uh. Oof. So there he is. He gets off his uniform in an instant. <laughs> Let me uh, get this thing so the snake can get some face time in cutscenes. Now we're here, and let the cutscenes begin. And there's gonna be a lot of revelations here. They're gonna be talking about all of the secrets and connections with MGS3, MGS2. So if you had like a lot of questions, they're gonna be answered here. There's also something you can download at the PSN, uh, like a database for MGS. But um, you better finish this game first. Who's there? I'm here to see Big Mama. Is this the guy? What do you think? I didn't hear him coming at all. He's gotta be the one! <coughs> yeah, but look at him. He's ancient. <coughs> Wish I had posters like that. about it. He is the legendary soldier. Call me Mama. Big Mama. Oh, Mama. <laughs> I need to talk to you. Raiden sent me. My, how you've grown, David. It was you, not I, who was created from the rib of man. But I gave you life. I am your mother. Revelation! What? 
Les enfants terribles. You can't grow a human being in a test tube, not even a clone. You need a woman's body to give it life. You mean... a surrogate mother? That's an awfully cold way to put it. I am your mother. I gave birth... for the Patriots. Gave... birth? He always repeats what they say. The forbidden fruit. Appropriate. No? Follow me. I'll explain everything. They're like, it's Metal Gear. Metal. Gear. I gave birth to you. Gave. Birth. There's a bird on the cage. A bird? <laughs> the man who wants me dead is Liquid. Your twin. You think you know him, but I know him better. He was once Ocelot, but Liquid has taken control of his soul. And now he's locked in a bitter struggle with Zero. Zero? The founder of the Patriots. Founder? When did this happen? Forty years ago. During the Cold War, when the United States and the Soviet Union were still at odds. It was in that chaotic era that the Patriots were born. And I played my part. I was one of the founding members. You? Zero created the Patriots to manage and control the American state. That control endured long after the Cold War ended. The organization became an empty shell, continuing to function through AIs. Those AIs are responsible for the creation of the war economy, and they gave rise to the Sons of the Patriot system. But I am partly to blame. I bear some of the guilt for creating the organization. It was right after I first met your father, Big Boss. Back in 1964, I was ordered to take part in a CIA op called Operation Snake Eater, which concerned a new weapon the Soviets were developing at the time. My mission was to support a certain agent. That agent later became Big Boss, but I knew him as Snake. Snake? Yes, Naked Snake. That was his code name at the time, a name he would give to you, his son. The commander of this mission was a man called Zero, the head of Special Forces Unit Fox. Back then, I was working as a double agent for the Chinese. My objective was to secure the location of the Philosopher's Legacy, a massive cache of hidden wealth, and report it to Beijing. I was to acquire a microfilm showing the location of secret funds, funds amassed by the Allied powers during World War II. But I failed in my mission and was expelled from China. I took the apple from the snake and was cast out of Eden. After years on the run, I ended up in Hanoi. That's where I met him again. It was around then that Zero used the massive funds contained in the Philosopher's Legacy to start a new organization, the Patriots, which would carry out the final wishes of a certain legendary hero. The initial membership consisted of Big Boss, Sigan, paramedic and their commander zero oh and there was one more who we mustn't forget he stayed behind in the soviet union to support the group as an informant ocelot who is now liquid after your father rescued me in hanoi i went to america and joined their organization zero's goal was to achieve a unity of thought and awareness he believed that was what the boss wanted and the rest of the patriots followed his lead Boss. The boss was a legendary hero from the Second World War, known as the Mother of Special Forces. 
She had an almost overwhelming charisma about her. The CIA feared this, so they had her eliminated. If she had survived, the world of the 21st century might have been a very different place. We were all influenced by the boss's will. It was what drove us to create this organization, to be closer to that spirit. Zero decided that in order to lead the people, we needed a special kind of icon. So he turned to Big Boss, the last son of the boss. He shared more of her life than anyone else. It was Big Boss, the true heir to her legacy, who was best suited to play this role. Awesome. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.